Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like or subscribe and subscribe if you do like the content, guys and girls. So here we are, here we are in the attribute component, and we're gonna keep working on all of this stuff with the stats and all this shit. Uh, so basically, my idea is the level is gonna control how many attributes uh you can how many attribute points you can spend and we're of course in classic uh this channel i don't know what our channel's name is something something this channel's fashion we're always going to use a algorithm for the leveling which le leaves us with unlimited levels so we never quit leveling i hate games that put a level cap on shit i don't like that so i always make sure we can level infinitely just that it's really hard to keep leveling so, uh, so there you go. And we're going to put all of these, um, we're going to put attributes into attribute points and these attributes are going to control stats, which in turn are going to control the gameplay. So that's how most RPGs work. And that's how this is going to work as well. I hope my audio isn't too loud. Uh, it seems like it's going into the red zone. You guys have to tell me if it, if it flips out. Let me just, let me just do that. Maybe that helps a little bit, uh, right there. Maybe. That's cool. Right there. All right. Sorry for doing this mid video, but sometimes my mic uh, messes up. Anyway, let's get started. So strength, vitality, all this stuff. What is it going to help us? Right. So we're going to pretty much let me put vitality first right here. Uh, let me put vitality and strength. Then we're going to have dexterity and agility and intelligence. And I'm going to try to keep the stats in order, which are affected by vitality first. So, on no, int. We're going to use int for health because it can go into the negatives. Uh, so, you want to think about that. So, hit points. Okay. Int hit points max. Or should we just call it HP? Maybe HP is easier. You know, sometimes you want to make life easy on yourself hit points okay so that's going to be controlled by vitality mostly that's the primary attribute for vitality i'd say um and then we're going to have int um, i want to set unsigned for damage but we're going to be working with stuff and we don't want to have to cast all the time so i'm just going to keep it int int Mm, damage in damage max okay so you go then i'm thinking should i keep all these ints hmm not sure i'm not sure uh you know what we'll leave it for the, for now we'll leave it for now we're gonna get some uh casting stuff but we'll see anyway damage for strength pretty simple right pretty simple damage min damage max yeah it's a little different so we're gonna have from a minimum value to a maximum value it's gonna be a damage in between there um and this is just base damage then we'll probably have a weapon and we'll add that damage min and max to this um to this whole thing we'll probably do that in player uh so let's see uh, then we have dexterity, so then we're going to have int, let's see, int, um, what is dexterity? Accuracy. Okay, so that's going to be our accuracy, int defense, all right? And these two are always going to play with each other, right? So kind of, um, you know, if you hit someone or not, it will depend on the defense. You always have a chance since we have this algorithm we worked on in our last games in the console RPG series. It really works well. You put everything down to percentages. So there's always a little chance uh, that you can hit, even if you have a really low accuracy versus someone who's really high def defense, right? So that's that's kind of how that works. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. And then we'll have int maybe luck for from intelligence. Um which will be pretty much magic fine, stuff like that. For now, right, we can add mana points and shit later, whatever the hell you want to add. 
Um, and now what we can do when we create our attribute component is we could say um, unsigned level here. So we can kind of create an attribute component from a certain level. And this will help us out uh, when we load stuff in from a file and all that stuff. Now, um, we're going to have to think how we're going to do this because we don't want to have to put all of these in when we create an attribute component because we're going to have to load a player from a file and stuff. Maybe we'll save this in a separate file for that player and then we'll load the attributes in separately from that file. We could do that or we could do everything in one file. We'll look into that when we get into saving and loading and stuff like that. Um, but for now, we'll just do level because it will help us out a little bit. We can test out different levels and stuff. Uh, there you go. Now, one important function we're going to require here is a void update stats. Okay, very simple. We're just going to update the stats. Um, and all that's going to do. Did I actually define that? No, I don't know what I did. I think I just uploaded my folder of, of all my screenshots. I don't know what I did. I just did something weird, but I think that works. There you go. Now we have update stats. Uh, right here, put that right there. Oh my God, are you serious? No, shit. God damn it, sucks. Okay, I'm just gonna do this instead. Uh, there you go. Okay, easy peasy. And let's just go to that file. And we're gonna update stats. But first of all, we're gonna have to work with this, right? So this um, level equals level this exp equals zero this exp next equals zero for now we don't have the algorithm yet this stat update no this attribute points equals whatever we want to give it from the start maybe we'll give it give a person uh five three attributes points to spend from the start um and that is good that's good that's fine you know that's fine and then this will the algorithm will use the level to uh, to do this. Now, update stats. Let's see. Update stats. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. And here we're going to do all the updating of the stats. Let me just think. I need to separate the leveling update to the update stats. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, what we need right now is this uh, vitality equals zero. We'll start with one and everything. It makes more sense. Uh, strength equals one. This dexterity equals one. This agility equals one. And this, no, this uh, int intelligence equals one. So there we go. And then the idea is we're just going to do this update stats. And we'll be fine and good to go. Fine and good to go. Okay. Um, I'm just going to create a void calculate exp next. I'm just going to create a function like that. You know, I'm just going to do that. And um, depending on the level we'll calculate the next experience and we'll keep that as a function. We'll keep that as a function. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to create a void level up function here, which is just going to level up our character depending on how much, or we could do, we could do, let's see. We do avoid update function and hopefully that will take care of most of our problems. We'll probably remove some of these functions later, but for now we'll keep update as a main function where everything is going to happen, right? We're just going to keep calling update and, um, and it will check for stuff. You could do that. Also, what you could do is only at the points in the game where there is a chance of the character leveling up, 
will call level up. So you could either make it a little more, you know, costly by calling update every frame, or you could check level up or something like that uh, whenever the chance is there, but that will generate more code. So that's kind of how you got to think here. Like, what do you want? What is, what is smarter to do? So in my case, I don't know. I like sometimes um, to make it more efficient and sometimes I like to make it more costly. Since this isn't too costly, it's just going to check for another level up. Um, so you can have update an update function that kind of runs that. So we'll, we'll look into that. Um, but you can choose whatever way you want to do it. Anyway, once we have this done, update stats in the, probably in the next video, we're going to work with that. And this should actually be, wait, before we go over to the next one, that should be above update stats. There you go. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're probably going to have to include, um, no, we don't have to include anything. We have that in STDAFX. We have all the math functions we need to do STD. No, not ARD. STD POW, right? Yeah, POW. We got the math library. We got all those things. So we won't need any of that. And that's what we're going to need to calculate the next experience thingy since we're going to use that algorithm we have. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you all about it in the next one, right? Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope everything is going well. Thank you for all the nice comments, all the nice stuff. I just really appreciate it. And I hope I can get to answering all of your questions and helping you out soon. As it's just been really hectic. It's probably going to be hectic until the summer for me. So probably not going to be that active. But you got each other on Discord. I'm really happy everyone joined in there. Um, hopefully everything is going well. But anyway, take care. Keep working hard. Keep learning. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.